Lords of the Fallen. There's a new boss fight that they released. Uh, this just came out, I guess, uh, less than a day ago. And we're going to take a look at it. Here we go. And as you can see, he's got, I'm assuming that's seven Estus flasks left. Oh shit, they showed the whole cinematic too. You would defile this sacred place with this horror. With your very own hands. Monster. Does your blasphemy know no bounds? <laughs> if only it were that easy. Brother, we have a guest. Another sinner. All right, cool. Okay, so it looks like you can iframe through that kind of stuff. That's cool. That's That looks pretty sharp. Ooh, that was a bit of a fuck up. That was a heal. Okay. I guess he got hit by that. Okay. Can you jump? Oh, wow. Okay, so they have visceral or like stagger attacks too. Cool. Right? So there's like an empowered one and like a not empowered one. This looks sped up. I don't think it's sped up. I feel like this is about the same speed as like, oh, what the fuck? That was really fucking sharp. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's parries in the game. I'll never use that, by the way. But it's cool that it exists. Okay. I feel like this is about, like... This is faster than Dark Souls 1, but I think it's slower than a fight like Champion Gundyr. Which is, is fine, right? Okay. What's this? What the hell is, what did he just do? Oh, so I guess that's the sound you make whenever you don't parry. It's like you fucked up. Right? That seemed like a decent boss fight. Uh, one thing is that I think that the... I am a little bit concerned that... There are very little combos that the boss does other than just like one attack or two attacks and that's about it. But yeah, apparently, I mean, like it's clearly this is, this is halfway through the video. There's a cinematic after he reaches zero health. There's a phase two here. Here we go. And also this could be a very early boss too. So it's like, you're comparing this to like, I don't know, the Great Wood Tree Spirit or something. Not so satisfying when you're on the receiving end, is it? Now you will know darkness, brother. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, that's badass. Is he dead, or is he going to get back up? Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. So he turns into Ludwig. 
Okay, cool. That was a good boss fight. I remember that one from Bloodborne. Yeah, remember? Yep. I wish this game used like a uh, a version of perfect parry for spells to reflect spells. Does this look like it was made for you? Yes, it does. Yes, this is a game that I can finally say I'm the target audience for. This the jump? Yep. That's cool. Okay. I do worry that, like, maybe it's because I've played a bunch of these games, right? I think these fights are too easy. I, I hope this is just an early boss. I think, I think this is too easy. But it's also, like, I mean, they might not be trying to go for that. Like, it's not like it has to be super hard. I don't think it should be super hard. Especially since it's like their first one, you know? Like, apparently, this is like a remake of the series. Yeah, this boss fight looks really good. Wow. Oop, uh-oh. Wow. I just can't... Yeah. Anyway, um... Yeah, I, I think this looks really awesome. Like, especially as, like, where's the health bar? Oh, he's probably doing it without the, the UI. Or he's zoomed in a lot, so you can't see it. But you're able to see the UI at the beginning of the game. Uh, if you look at it right there, and uh, it's just the obvious stuff. Uh, you've got your health. You've got your, um, uh, I, I, what, what are these? This is your, your stamina. I'm assuming this is some form of resource bar. And this might be something else as well. Uh, this is obviously your, your heals. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's your, your stamina, right? I, I don't know exactly what this is. This could be like, um, you know, like Castlevania had this, for example, like throwing, uh, like thrown spears or something like that. Like every single spear he throws is like one notch on this bar. I'm not sure. Uh, and then it could be mana. Yeah, definitely could be that. And I, yeah, I'll be very curious to see kind of, kind of like what the, what the nuance of this game is. Because again, uh, you know, I, I love Dark Souls. I love all these types of games. So, like, any time that a game comes out and it's like this, I will play it. I will absolutely play it, one hundred fucking percent. What's your favorite Souls like from not from software? I feel like the second best is Remnant, but I don't think people would classify it as Remnant. Like, it would classify Remnant as a Souls-like game. But if you were to, then Remnant would be by far my number two. Code Vein? I thought Code Vein was very good. Yeah, I liked Code Vein. I think Remnant was better than Code Vein, but Code Vein was good. Yeah, how'd you get into Souls series? I was bullied into it by my chat. But yeah, looks like uh, Lords of the Fallen is looking great. Uh, sounds and impact are not okay, but the graphics and art direction is 10 out of 10. Yeah, a lot of people are not happy with the sounds. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to fix that or not. But yeah, the sounds are a little bit cheesy. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, let's see here. The game looks like it's coming along great. They need to make enemies react a little bit more to getting hit. Otherwise, Big looks fantastic. Yeah, I don't think we're probably going to see a lot of animation changes. I think maybe some sound changes because... You know, this game's coming out in a few months, I'm pretty sure. So uh, a lot of stuff is probably already pretty much fixed. Weapon Impact not doing it for me. Other than that, looks great. But yeah, uh, very excited about this one. As I said, I think it'd be a great decision for the developers to let me play this early on stream or play like a demo version on stream. That would be a really, really smart thing for them to do. Just great move. Super smart idea. You know, we'll see what happens. How about that? But uh, yeah, this looks fucking badass. This is, uh, again, Lords of the Fallen.